this straight out of context today is for YouTube in particular because this these verses here in Matthew 18 do not apply in any way, shape, or form to the public platforms, the channels on YouTube and their channel owners. It says, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. This is a personal trespass, a sin of one person against another. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. But if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. Okay, so this is someone who sins against you personally. They refuse, if they refuse to take the correction, then, you know, just set them aside. There's nothing you can do. So... Okay, well, YouTube, I hear this used so often. Anytime there is biblical correction given from one or more channels to another, you will hear this, you try to use to shut people up, okay? And tell them they're doing something that is unbiblical. When in fact, Paul, whenever there was a public, someone who had public influence, and was putting, you know, leaven out there to leaven the whole lump, some sort of false doctrine or some some issue that was going on in public, some blatant sin or whatever it was in the body of Christ that was causing harm, he addressed it publicly in front of everyone, the whole crowd, because that's for the sake of the listeners and the others that are affected. This is not a personal trespass from one person to the other. This is a trespass against the body of Christ as a whole, whoever's listening, whoever is being harmed. And it is therefore to be addressed publicly. Oftentimes, and I know this because I've been on here long enough to know that quite often, probably more often than not, these things are addressed privately behind the scenes first. And the majority of the time, they are not received well at all. But occasionally, they will be received well. But I, I've heard that, but it's, yeah, it's so rare. <laughs> I hate to say it, it's just really rare. But so anyway, you know, and really, YouTube is not like a church, or it's so different. It's, uh, it really is like a marketplace where, you know, if I look at my YouTube studio, it, the average view on my videos is like three minutes. People have short attention spans, and they've got so much to choose from to look at. And it's more like a marketplace where, with vendors and a huge crowd of people walking through and just stopping at whomever, you know, looking to whomever gets their attention more than the next person and hopping from person to person. It's very unique. Um, and yeah, just not really like this type of situation here at all or, or like a church, really, like a regular local church. So yeah, it, it's different. And So this, this definitely does not apply in this situation. And it truly is for the sake of the listeners, the people that are also being affected by whatever is being taught wrongly. And there really is kind of a epidemic of scripture misuse of Greg Jackson put out a, I think it was a community post this morning, if I remember right, about 
people resting the scriptures. And it is just crazy. And that's kind of why, and I know it's easy to do just to take what you've heard other people use it and use it in that context as well. And that's something over the last year or two that the Lord has really been trying to uh, wake me up to and get me to wake other people up to that as well, because it is so common. It is like what I call man speak and indoctrination that does not come from God. It's being a bottom feeder, you know, just repeating what you hear and repeating what you hear and not looking into it for yourself in context to see what does it really mean. When we take the word of God and we use it, we, we twist it to fit our own agenda, that is not good. It is not healthy. It is harmful. It is not reverencing the Lord and his word. And we are supposed to line our minds up with his word, not try to put him in our box of our own understanding and our own will. Um, So, yeah. And I have had, you know, I get emails and stuff from people that are operating in a spirit of error where they misuse and misapply pretty much all the scriptures they put in there and the accusations of what's being said is completely wrong. And I will not even reply to people like that because that is the type of person that I'm not going to give place to. Even if they're really a brother or sister, I am going to let the Lord work on them because I know at that point that nothing I say to them, if they're not really hearing what's being said in my videos and they're not agreeing with the word as it's being laid out, then there's nothing I can say to correct them. Only God can correct that person. And I just have to let him do his work in them. Um, so yeah, this, this just honestly, cannot be used for YouTube guys in almost all cases. There might be occasionally something where it's personal, one person against the other, but on YouTube, not usually, no. All right. I love y'all. Have a blessed day.